opinion comment regions like the West Midlands have a vital role in leading the charge Wednesday, 22nd of April 2020, 11.40 a.m. updated Wednesday 22nd of April 2020. 11.42 a.m. Conservative Mayor of the West Midlands Andy Street, photo, Ollie Scarf AFP, the impact on the West Midlands has been severe, with the number of cases and deaths second only behind London. This human tragedy has left our whole region grieving for those relatives, friends and neighbours who have been lost. Sadly the scale of this loss is not unexpected. The West Midlands is a huge urban area of 3 million people, the second biggest outside London, and it is connected to the rest of the country by its central location and transport links. I's opinion newsletter, talking points from today. E's opinion newsletter, talking points from today. We have seen our region step up to the challenge with energy, bravery, and common sense, from the brilliant NHS and care workers to the canny inventors and engineers building ventilators from the bus and train staff to the supermarket workers and the local community groups. Our response has been led by the people who live here. Nobody waited for orders from London to help our neighbours, to provide food for those in need, or to work those extra shifts. We often feel in the black country, Birmingham, Soli Hull and Coventry that we are doers, not talkers. We just get on with it. That magnificent West Midlands spirit is what will carry us through coronavirus and the economic challenges to come. It just doesn't pass the sniff test that Londoners would be allowed to go to the pub or play football in the park while people in the West Midlands or Greater Manchester were told to stay indoors. As weeks progress, I am expecting the numbers of cases in the region to plateau and then to fall and we will turn our minds to lifting the lockdown and to the economic recovery. All the talk of levelling up all parts of Britain by government has been put on hold while we tackle coronavirus, but it must return to the fore as we plan to get the economy started again. The government must make sure that the city regions are at the heart of that economic recovery. The regions which are now overseen by the nine elected metro mayors, covering 43% of England's population, and have a combined economic output of over £700 billion per year. This doesn't mean however that the lockdown should be released at different times in different regions. It just doesn't pass the sniff test that Londoners would be allowed to go to the pub or play football in the park while people in the West Midlands or Greater Manchester were told to stay indoors. Given how well connected the regions are, this would surely contribute to further spikes in case of the virus. The release from lockdown needs to be based on the science, and it is likely to be phased, with testing and continued social distancing to keep the transmission rate low so that we can start to rebuild the economy. It just doesn't pass the sniff test that Londoners would be allowed to go to the pub or play football in the park while others are indoors, photo, Peter Summers slash Kitty Given the scale of the economic disruption that coronavirus has caused, it will be hard for the economy to bounce straight back to the position before the shutdown. Therefore the government needs a substantial plan to help the economy if we are to get businesses growing again as soon as possible. We need to look if there are exceptional measures to boost our economy that we can put in place. Could we loosen planning restrictions, or streamline the bureaucracy which slows down government funded projects? Can we invest in rolling out new electric vehicle charging points or 5G infrastructure faster? Could we retrain those people who are out of work in new digital skills? Each city region has different specializations, for example, the West Midlands is home to Jaguar Land Rover and the automotive industry, whereas London is the home of the financial services sector. Therefore whatever help the public sector provides needs to be tailored to suit each region. The closed Jaguar Land Rover production plant in Solihull, photo, Justin Tallis slash Kitty Mayors and local councils in these regions are best positioned to support local industries, to help their communities, and to build infrastructure that is needed. The government will need to use its financial muscle to get the economy going, but we must make sure that we don't depend on an indirect fiscal stimulus through financial institutions alone.
if you are trying to get a shot of adrenaline into the bloodstream, you don't inject it into a patient's dinner, and hope they eat the food. You put it straight into the blood vessel. Mayors and their council colleagues have the local knowledge to get the financial support directly to where it is needed the most. Our city regions stand ready to act if we are given the powers and resources to do so. We're going to need to be flexible and pragmatic in the months ahead to make sure we aren't heading for a serious long-term downturn. It's going to be a long road back to economic prosperity, but our city regions have a vital role in leading the charge. Andy Street is the conservative mayor of the West Midlands Let's Block Ads. Why?